So you're thinking of starting a career in cybersecurity. It's a wonderful and highly rewarding field to be part of, which is why I've been working in it for almost two decades. A question I've sometimes asked is how you can actually kick that career off. Hi, my name is John Elliott. I'm a Pluralsight author and a cybersecurity governance, risk and compliance consultant, which means I help companies understand what information security they should be doing and then work out whether they're actually doing it. There isn't one way to get into cybersecurity. So here's some approaches that can work for you. One of the first things you'll hear when it comes to getting into cybersecurity is you need to go and get some certifications. This is sound advice for a few reasons. Firstly, it gives you a good idea of what being in cybersecurity is like. So you could decide if it's right for you before you spend any more time pursuing it. You get to sample most of the areas in cybersecurity and you can find the ones that excite you. Studying for industry certifications teaches you the fundamentals, which you obviously need to succeed at the job. It also shows prospective employers that you've gone out of your way to learn the basics and more importantly, you get to sample all the areas in cybersecurity and you can find the one that appeals to you. If you're completely new to cybersecurity, before diving into a qualification, I'd recommend taking the Information and Cybersecurity Literacy Path at Pluralsight because it gives a great introduction to the area. If you already have a feel for cybersecurity, then I'd suggest taking the CompTIA Security Plus qualification. Pluralsight offers a great learning pathway on it, done by Christopher Reese. Remember, the value that you get from this type of study is not just the qualification. It's a chance to find the cybersecurity area that excites you. You can start to actively make yourself curious about cybersecurity, and in fact, all forms of security in your day to day. If you're going into a venue, look at where the security cameras are and where the guards are placed. Just don't be too obvious about it especially not in somewhere like the Tower of London Jewel Room, because believe me, they get cross when they notice you checking out the cameras. Ask yourself all the time, how would I defeat that? Or how could that fail? You can also do this on IT systems, at work or at home. If a website asks you to set up an authenticator app along with your password, look at how it's doing it, the process it takes and the language it uses. Did it work for you? And if not, why? This might sound like a funny exercise, but it's the first step towards thinking like a cybersecurity professional, since you're playing red team versus blue team in your mind. I can guarantee you that bad actors are doing the exact same thing, and it's often our job to put ourselves in their shoes and put in defensive strategies before they exploit a weakness. The best words I ever learned in my entire cybersecurity career were I'm sorry, I don't know. You might wonder why that is. One of two things will happen when you utter them. Either someone will tell you the answer and you'll be smarter for it, or you'll realize you need to go away and find out the answer. Whenever I've recruited people in the past for cybersecurity roles, these were the five words I wanted to hear in an interview. People who can recognize what they don't know, admit it, and seek to discover the answers. Curious, lifelong learners are the kind of people who thrive in cybersecurity because things are constantly changing. Continuing with the theme of constant learning, it helps to find a mentor, someone who can help you get into security and who can help answer your questions. There are a lot of people out there who will be happy to help you develop your career and your skills. Good places to find mentors are industry associations, such as your local ISSA or ISC squared chapters. You've got so much knowledge at your fingertips with just a Google search. For instance, you don't need to travel halfway around the world to attend one of the big cybersecurity conferences like RSA, Black Hat, or DEF CON. Almost all of their presentations are published on the internet after the event. There is so much free learning out there that you can do. The best book on cybersecurity thinking ever published, Ross Anderson's Security Engineering, is freely available. You just need to search for it. Because cybersecurity is such a wide topic, you'll find something you get really excited about. 
It might be threat hunting, penetration testing, ethical hacking, writing secure systems, risk management, human risk or security governance. It helps to find that area of cybersecurity that really fires up your interest. See where that rabbit hole takes you. I started my career on an IT help desk where I discovered my love of working with computers and problem solving. Often, security teams will recruit internally from a help desk because in that environment, you learn lots of fundamentals that are really useful to a cybersecurity career, such as Active Directory, basic networking, creating user accounts, and also regular user behavior. It is normal for people to move on after one or two years on a help desk because it's a taxing environment and a move into cybersecurity is logical. I can't emphasize enough how seeing technology from the regular user's perspective develops your empathy as a member of the cybersecurity team. Approaching colleague requests with a yes and how can we secure this rather than the dreaded information security says no. If you're midway through your career, stepping into an entry level position at a help desk just to get into cybersecurity, well, that isn't very appealing. Maybe your soft skills are amazing or you work in an area that already has dealings with cybersecurity, such as being a developer or, or in another business environment. In that case, it's possible to break sideways without going down the help desk route. One way to do this is to show the cybersecurity team where you work, that you're interested in cybersecurity. If you're a developer, asking them how to write more secure code and demonstrate to the team that you're interested in working with them on that. See if you could kickstart some developer training around secure coding practices. Bring security into your existing role and build those bridges. A good horizontal role is as a Business Information Security Officer, or BSO, where you're still in the business, but you're thinking about security. It's sort of like wearing two hats at the same time. So you're still focused on what the organization wants to achieve, but you're also thinking about achieving it securely. To be honest, it's hard to move horizontally and change companies at the same time. So if you want to shift from a non-cyber role to a cyber role, you're better off trying to make this sideways move in your current organization. In most locations, there will be a branch of a cybersecurity association, such as the Information System Security Association, the ISSA. This association of cybersecurity enthusiasts isn't linked to any certification body, and it's a not-for-profit organization. They organize meetings where people love to talk about security, and they bring in guest speakers. Joining an organization such as the ISSA it's a really great way of building your network. If you go to a meeting and say, I'm a senior project manager, and I've been working on security tasks, and I want to get more experience in this area, people will be happy to talk to you. You can build your network that way, and then sooner or later, someone might say, hey, there's a vacancy in our project management security team. Is that something that would appeal to you? I can't overestimate how important it is to build a network. I've personally found many opportunities through people I know where someone has said, hang on, John does this sort of thing, let me introduce you to him. And remember, associations are the best place to find mentors. You're best off trying a lot of different things to try and get your foot in the door and all of them will make you better off throughout the process. A lot of this advice, gaining certifications, joining associations, finding a mentor, networking, are good to do regardless of where you are in your cybersecurity career. Again, don't be daunted by all the things that you don't know. Being in cybersecurity is like drinking from a fire hose, so you'll always be learning no matter how many years you've been in the field. My best advice is to find an area that you're really into. If a particular area of cybersecurity really interests you, that will come through in all of your interactions and it'll be more fun going to work in the morning. Cybersecurity is such a wide discipline that there's bound to be one aspect that really gets you going. And don't pay attention to people who say, you have to have been a developer or you need to understand networking. Sure, a broad IT knowledge base is really helpful, but the field is so wide, you can find your niche. Good luck.